In this video, we are going to see about page replacement and page, one of the page replacement algorithm. So, uh, in case of your uh, main memory, your main memory is a set of free frames. So, when a page comes in, we will be allocating it, it, it into one of the free frames that are available in the main memory. So, if no more free frames are available, what we are going to do? So, in this case, what I will do is I will swap out a page from any one of the free frames and I will be swapping in this required page into that particular frame. So, how I will know which frame from which frame I need to swap out the page. For that only we are going to use the page replacement algorithm. We will be using any one of the page replacement algorithm and find out the frame and then from that frame we will be swapping out the page and putting it into the secondary store and the required page will be moved into that free frame that's what we are going to do that's why we need the page replacement algorithm so if this page replacement is a process of swapping out an existing page from the frame of a main memory and replacing it with the required page so why we need this page replacement when all the frames in your main memory are already occupied and there are no more free frames if i want to allocate a page that is coming in i need this page replacement algorithm so the first algorithm which we are going to see is FIFO page replacement algorithm it is one of the simplest algorithm as we know FIFO is nothing but the first in first out whichever comes in first that has to go out first okay so it requires the oldest page that has been present in the main memory for the longest time okay so it is implemented by keeping track of all the pages in the queue okay so we'll be seeing one example how this fifo page replacement algorithm works so here you take this uh, example so i have a reference string these are the set of pages which is going to come to the main memory okay and i have a number of frames that are available in my main memory is three and then find the number of page falls by using the fifo algorithm okay so uh, initially my main memory is divided into three frames okay initially all the three frames are free i'm just going to take like that okay i'm just going to consider like that so initially my all my three frames that are there in my main memory are free and are available and so the first page that comes in is four so i will go and check in my main memory whether four is already available so this in this case initially my frames that, that are there in main memory is free so 4 is not there so i am just going to put my page 4 into the first frame so the page is not already there in the main memory so that is called as my page fault or page miss because it is not there in the main memory already okay and then the next page is coming in that is 7 i am just going and checking my main memory once again 7 is not there so i am just going to put it in one of the free frames so 7 is placed in one of the free frames and it is also once again a page fault or page miss and then the next uh, page that comes in is 6 so 6 is also not there so i am putting it in one of the free frames so it is once again a page fault and then the next page that is coming in is 5. So here when I see my main memory, I have only 3 slots. All the 3 frames are already full, already occupied. right? So I need to, now uh, the page that is coming in is 5. I need to put that page 5 into one of the frames. I need to know from which frame I need to remove a page and I need to put this required page. So, the algorithm which I am using is the FIFO page replacement algorithm. So, the oldest page will be replaced uh, replaced with the required page. So, here the oldest page is 4. So, I am just swapping out that oldest page and replacing it with my new page that is 5. So, once again it is also a page fault. Okay. And then my next page that is coming in is 7. So, I am going and seeing it in this 
main memory whether 7 is available. So here if you see 7 is already available. So it is a page hit. It is a page hit. That means 7 is already available in the main memory. So it is called as page hit. So I have uh, represented it with the tick mark. Okay, that is page hit. And next one, next uh, page to come in is 6. So here if you go and check in the main memory, 6 is already available. So it is once again a page hit. And the next uh, page to come in is 1. So when 1 comes in, so I need to uh, check my main memory. So 1 is not already there. So I need to swap out one of the pages from any one of the frame. And then I need to put this particular page inside. So I am going to check which is there for the longest time. So if you see 7 is the one which came second and it is there in the uh, there in the memory for the longest period of time and it is also the oldest page. So I am just going to remove that page and put my 1 inside. Okay put my page 1 inside. Okay, so this is also once again a page fault and the next page that is coming in is 2. So 2 if you see 2 is not already there in memory. So I need to swap out any one of the page and I need to put this inside. So if I see uh, when compared to 5, 1 and 6, my 6 is the oldest and the longest um, the, the page that is there for the longest period of time. Okay, so I am just going to replace my 6 with so once again it is a page fault and then the next page that is coming in is 7 so go and check in the main memory 7 is not there so I need to swap out any one of the page so here if you see when I compare my 5 1 and 2 5 is the oldest page so I am going to uh, swap out 5 and I need to I am going to put my 7 inside so it is also once again a page fault and the next is um, page that is to come in is 6. So once again I am checking in my main memory 6 is not there and I am comparing which one is the oldest page. I am just comparing 7, 1 and 2. When I compare these 3 my 1 is the oldest and I am going to replace my 1 with 6. So it is also once again a page fault. So total number of page faults here is 8. Okay, so this into mark represents your page miss or page fault and tick mark represents your page hit. Okay, this is how your FIFO page replacement algorithm works. If you have any doubts, please comment on it. Thank you.